Shane Claiborne, author, social justice activist, community leader. We're so grateful for you joining us today for our Yale Youth Ministry Institute lecture. So glad to be here. And, and mm -hmm. what you took on for us today was uh, how grace can be a foundation for human flourishing in youth and how grace is related to joy. And mm -hmm. I guess what I'd like to start with is how do you understand what joy is and, and what has it looked like when you've seen it? Well, I think a good starting point for me is that joy can happen regardless of our circumstances or, or even our possessions. And I've found that a lot of folks that are economically poor are very joyful, and a lot of people that are economically rich are not very joyful. And there's exceptions to all that, but uh, I've learned that uh, uh, when I see joy flourish, it often comes from the exceptional uh, appreciation of the gifts of God. And one uh, very poignant story I can recall from Calcutta, India, where I was working with Mother Teresa and the sisters, where uh, every week we would throw a party for the kids that live on the streets. So they survive every day from begging, and there are hundreds of street kids. And Mother Teresa, uh, every week, said, these kids are precious but they haven't always been convinced of that. So we get to convince them of that. And we'd gather up all these kids. We'd have a banquet feast and play games and open the water hydrants, you know. And, and one of the kids, week after week, I had gotten to know a little bit. He told me it was his birthday. And then you could just see his whole heart sink. You know, he wasn't going to get any gifts. And it put me in a little bit of a predicament because, I, you know, the nuns had really strict orders that you don't do for one kid what you can't do for a hundred. And so I understood all that in theory, but I'm like, oh, yeah, but it's his birthday, you know. So I, I sneak off and I'm thinking, you know, maybe I could just get him a little something. And it's 120 degrees, so I, I, I get off and I, I get him an ice cream cone. What, what I didn't think about is probably how long it had been since he had ice cream, because I hand it to him and he's just stunned. And he he's holds it and he's, he's fascinated by it. And then his impulse, without even thinking, is to share it. He yells at all the other kids and he goes, we've got ice cream! You know, and he brings them all over and he goes down the line of kids. He lines them up. He goes, everybody's going to get a lick. And he goes down the line, gives every kid a lick of the ice cream. And then he comes full circle after like 100 kids and goes, we saved you a lick too, you know. And, but what I think that kid knew is the best thing to do with the best things in life is to give them away. It's to share them. And that's a truth that goes to the very heart of, of Scripture, is if we want to find our life, then we give it away. And I think sometimes we are so obsessed with ourselves and finding our best life and becoming a better you and all of this, you know, we have this sort of, even in the church, this sort of blessing-obsessed, narcissistic gospel of prosperity. And so this is a very different thing, I think, that joy comes out of, uh, not out of guilt. I mean, that kid wasn't guilty at all. And it wasn't uh, that the ice cream was too bad. It was that it was too good, you know, to keep for myself. And so he, you know, I, I think that's what, what grace is about is when we've tasted the goodness of God, we want everybody to experience it. 